Hello everyone and welcome to my Nora Bay Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie V. Thanks for joining me for this episode. And it is the 25th of winter. Feast of the Winter Star Day. If you celebrate in real life, happy Winter Star Day to you. Okay, let's see what's going on outside. Let's grab our Joja Cola here and add it to the stockpile. Or take the whole stockpile out. Let's just put it back. See what's going on outside. Check the mail. Oh, you did it. I'm very impressed. Enjoy your reward. So Mr. Key has paid us 10,000 Gs for getting to level 25 in the mine. Not too bad. Gotta like that. What else did we get in the mail? Found your face down in my in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweep. You should try to make it home a little earlier next time. So apparently Marlin goes out to the desert at 3 a.m. looking for people. Um, thank you, Marlin, for doing that for us. And it looks like we got some forage crops ready here. I don't need to pick them up today, so I'm just gonna go over and check out my my animals. Oh, got a bomb. I don't need to have that in my hand ever. I need to put that away. Okay, so let's see what it picked up. Got the milk. Just take that over here and put it in here. Quick little switcheroo and let me give some love to the animals. And we'll go and give some love to our chickens and ducks as well. They also have an auto grabber in their coop. So I don't need to go and collect any of their product. But I still need to give them love. Love, 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 love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, and now the auto grabber is right next to the chest. So it's going to take everything from the chest and put it directly into this chest. I can pick up the feather, but I don't really need it right now, so I'll leave it in there. Oh, I think I missed an animal. Did I miss my duck? I'm Joby little duck. Here you go. Mwah. And I think it's coffee day in the greenhouse. So let's go ahead and collect that coffee. Oh, and there's some forage. Oh, there's some forage down here too. Take that. Take this. Oh, we take all of those goodies. We will take every little bit. And this is all iridium quality stuff, so it's extra special. Okay, do I have my scythe on me? No. See, this is the one bad thing about the Harvest with Scythe mod that I have. If I don't have my scythe, I can't harvest with it. So I gotta go all the way back to the farm. So I'm thinking I should just leave it in, in the bin there. And I need to make sure to take a present for Evelyn because she is my secret gift receiver. Okay, let's go back quickly. As long as I make it to the center of the town prior to like two o'clock, we'll be good. So we have we have some time. Oh, I really shouldn't have these bombs on me while I'm on my farm. That's very dangerous. Okay, let's grab all this coffee. Eventually I'll have to go to Gus and go ahead and buy the recipe for the triple shot espresso because I really want it. Oh, this one. And right now the regular coffee, it's still good. It's just not as good as the triple shot is. Is anything down here ready? Nope, not quite. Okay. So I'm actually just going to put this in here. That way I don't have to like run back and get it should I forget. It'll always just be there. Okay, so I'll stick these coffee in for processing. 
I'm gonna sell some of these nails that I unwittingly took this call cabinet in. Wrong, wrong shed. This is not a shed at all. This is a coop. Ooh, got some oak resin ready though. That is awesome. That means two more. Oh, inventory is full though. Two more kegs I can make. Let's put those in there. And we'll take these 14 pale ales out. I'm just gonna go sell them. Sell them and make some money. Take that and that. Oh, hey, Tommy. Okay, so let's get some of this stuff away. Oh, got tons of coal. Not tons, but 27 pieces when we went to Skull Cavern last night. So, not too bad. And we have two bars of iridium we can get going. But mostly I just want the. I think I want mostly iron right now. So, I'll take these ones out and put them so that they go up after go oh and i also have some spicy eel from that trip can't complain about that okay, let me store some of this stuff is there anything we can sell anything else we can sell no okay so let's see what we should get for Evelyn. I believe, oh, she likes beets. And we have some beets here. We might have higher quality beet. Let me see what our friendship is like with Evelyn right now. Okay, so we still have three and a half hearts to go. So let's give her some of the good stuff. No, this is not any better. Okay, we'll just take a beet because I know she likes loves the beet. Double checking though. Yes, loved. Okay, so let's sell this pale ale. This, 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 and might as well sell that just because I don't want to take it around. And I need to put these bombs away. I don't know why I'm carrying that around either. Put away, away. Now I'm not going to make it home in time to do anything. in the mines today or go to Skull Cavern. So I think I'll probably just do a bit of fishing once I get back to the farm. But whilst we are at the festival, we should talk to every single person we can. Get some friendship up. There's a Louise, hey Louise. I found this and thought you might like it. She just gave me a rainbow shell for no reason. And wow, thank you, LBs. Do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Sure. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as Star Drop is connected to the Winter Star in some way. Very interesting. Ah, uh, hey Marlin. Hey Pam. Hey Penny. Oh, Gregory's here. I wonder what my secret gift giver got me. People don't really know me here. <laughs> oh, there's Lyle over here. Got a purple hoodie on. It's always hard figuring out what to get people. I hear you on that sometimes. Are you enjoying the festival? I am. I do hope I receive a well considered gift this year. Well, it's really the thought that counts, right? Merry Winter Star, Melanie. Happy Winter Star to you too, Gunther. Hey, Sebastian. How's it going, Victor? See what I had yesterday. Best part about today is the free food and drink. Don't care much about gift giving. He loved the gift I gave him. I knew he'd appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Hey Abigail. Oh, hi Joel. 
Hello, Harvey. I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. That's always nice. Leah, Rusiko, and Elliot. Hey, Clint. Oh, we can't get over to Shane that way. I'll join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Oh, Linus, I'm sure you'd be welcome. Let's see what our friend Pierre is telling, but let's say happy Christmas to him as well. Not Christmas, winter store, I should say. My sale figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Okay, there's always good stuff for sale, I know. Um, I really should buy, I want to buy the Tree of the Winter Star, but it's 5,000. Ah, okay, next year we'll put up a tree. Let's say hi to Carolyn. Let me see if you can reach Shay now. Okay. Who else did we miss? Hey, Maru. Hey, Sam. Jody. The sisters. What do I want for Christmas this year? Well, I know what I really want. I would like a watering can that was already of quality, but she wants me to say I should get a stylish fruit or something spicy mead. I'm telling her the truth. All work and no play, that's not very fun. I know, but it is kind of like fun for me. A feast for some stupid star. Humbug. <laughs> hey Evelyn, should I give her a gift now? Yeah, might as well. Here you go, my dear. Oh, so it's you. Ah, beat. Thanks. Who did I? Oh, I got Willie. What did he get me? Hey, Melanie V. I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Oh, Willie's my little so sweet. A warp totem. 25 warp totem to the beach. Holy cow, that is a very nice gift. That it's not much. That is a lot. Thank you, Ellie. That is an awesome gift. Okay. Hey, Alex. Uh, hello, Melody. Happy winter star. Jody has been gracious enough to invite me to join her family. Aw. Now, if only I could drag Ellie away from their presence. <laughs> and here's Sophia all by herself. Hey, Sophia. Okay, I think we got everyone. So let's head back to... Oh, did I say... I don't think I talked to Liz. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Okay, and off we go back to farm. That was nice. I really, really appreciated the gifts I got from Louie. That's a lot of warp totems. Okay, so I do have a quest for the uh, Catch 20 River Fish. And I believe the fish on the farm should count as river fish because, you know, it's technically a river. So let's go ahead and fish right here on the farm, see what we can find. Okay, so my final fish was a bust, but that's okay. We got 8 out of 20 we needed. Let's head to bed. We'll sell these fish tomorrow. It's getting pretty late. And we made it. Here we go. Let's see how much money we made for today. Oh, 
Not too bad, $19,590. I can deal with that. Okay, so what's another bad luck day? I was hoping for some good luck so we can take another trip down to Skull Cavern, but yeah, I definitely don't want to go on a bad luck day. It's scary enough as it is on a good luck day. But it is Clint's birthday, so we want to definitely go give our friend Clint a gift. Oh, and Evelyn sent us a new recipe. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, dear Melanie B, I want to make fish too, but I need an albacore. We can help you out with that, Gus, for sure. Let's sell some of these fish, though. I mean, I could keep them, but I don't need them. Okay, and we can put our warp totem away for now, and let's see what's going on down in the barn. I think should probably collect the, the crops that are ready, might as well. Now I'm thinking I'm going to take all the lower quality stuff that I had from before and I'll make some uh, winter seeds with them and sell those. And everything else I'm just going to go ahead and sell as is. But this is probably our last juniper berry harvest of the season. They are definitely a very worthwhile crop for sure if you get them planted right away at the start of the season. And this spot, these are just going to stay here until the first of spring, so I won't actually have to hold those spots up again. I can just use my site to clear that area, which will make it a whole lot easier. I should start carrying around some coffee with me to speed up a bit. See what we got in here. Hello, my lovely animals. From one side to the other. Now I don't actually need this milk pail anymore. But I can't sell the dog to Marnie, so might as well just stay there. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for the milk and thank you for the soon to be truffles. Thank you in advance, I guess. Let's go check in our little chicks and ducks. And those ones should be processed by themselves into the mayo maker. Yep, yeah, let's see when our dinosaur is ready though. One more day! I cannot wait. Hello, my lovely animals. Thank you for your eggs. Let's see what we got. Yeah, just some eggs again. So I got a couple oak resin from these tappers yesterday. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a couple more kegs. Really would like to make some preserve jars, but I just don't seem to have enough coal ever. And like, yeah, I'm already down to 15. Oops, I sorted it again. But look, I got three more iridium bars. That's awesome. We take this out and sell it. Grab that and sell it. Oh, I sh sorted it again. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just keep these out of here for now. Do I have space in here? No. Okay, back they go. Just have to remember not to sort. So, what does Clint like? I don't know. Pretty sure he likes emeralds. I'm, sh I'm certain he likes the emeralds. I think that's what I gave him the last time when I was doing my big gifting day. Let me double check. Yes, he loved it. So we will head over to his shop. Is there anything else we can take with us? Uh, no. Okay, so we will head over to Clint, give him this gift, and then we'll come back and do some more fishing. I actually want to go down to the beach. Oh, look at all these worm spots. 
Got all these worm spots up here. I didn't even bring my hoe, no. Why didn't I bring my hoe? Okay. To Clint we go. Oh, he's not here. Clint! Oh, it's Friday. He is actually at the community center. That's okay. We will go find him there. Let me double check my heart level with him right now to see how much increase we have. Okay, so we're just, just about five and a half. So I don't think it's going to go all the way up, obviously, but we'll take a significant chunk out for sure. Clint, where are you? I keep seeing all these worm spots now that I don't have my hole with me. There he is. Hey Clint, wait up. Do you want this? You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. You're welcome. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop here around. It's cool too. Okay, let's check out our friendship now. Oh yeah, we made a great impact. Just one and a half to go now. So that view is about three full hearts. And now we have a cutscene with Clint, I guess. Where is he? <laughs> ah, hello there. going on Clint? Phew, I'm finishing up an iridium infused sword for a monster hunter from Castle Village. You might have heard of him. He goes by the name Scyther. You've never heard of him, but why don't you make me swords? Castle Village is home to the best monster slayers and artisans in the region. I have contracts with various guilds in the Ferngild Republic to provide custom crafted weapons, shields, and armor. What, am I dog meat here? It's not much, but it's honest work. I would like to hire you. Right now, I'm not getting any orders from the Adventure Skill here in Stardew Valley. When there were more members, there was a steady demand for new weapons. The guild used to be a lot bigger, but they've lost some good people over the years. The summit has gotten crowded. Sorry, Melanie, I didn't mean to bring up that up, especially with you being a guild member and all. That's okay. What should I say? We all accept the risk when we join. I didn't know any of them. I've visited their graves and paid my respect. I have visited one grave at least. I've hiked up there myself. Some of those adventurers had quite the kill count on their tombstone. They were fine people. Melanie V, you've made excellent strides in protecting the valley from monsters while also building up an impressive farm. I envy that. I'm not brave enough to fight monsters, but I do what I can to ensure the safety of those who do. That's why I pride myself on my smithing work. That's good to know. I know I'm a bit awkward sometimes, but thanks for stopping by. I need to get back to finishing this sword. I'll see you next time you drop by, or maybe at the saloon. You never know. Okay, that was nice. That's a different cutscene from the expanded universe for sure, because that's definitely not part of the vanilla experience. Hey, Emily. Okay, I want to go to Gus. Oh, it's not 12 o'clock yet. Okay, let's go down to the beach and see if we can find what was it that I really wanted. No, we need an albacore for Gus and a squid for Billy. Let's see if we can get both of those today and knock two quests off the list. Oh, but we can collect cords whilst we're here. Okay, so I'm not seeing any albacore come up. Maybe it's for night fish only. And I'm not seeing the squid either, so they might both be night fish. Okay, change of plans. We are not going to fish on the beach right now. 
we are going to go do some river fishing. Maybe we'll head back to the beach a little bit later. I think it's probably 7 o'clock it would be for the night fishing. Let's just fish up here for now. Okay, so it looks like we completed the 20 fish and I ran out of tackle. So I'm just going to run back to the farm, grab some more tackle for my rod, and then head down to the ocean. And I'm actually just going to use one of those delightful beach warp totems that I got from Ruby yesterday. Which is coming in pretty clutch right now. Oh, there's a winter fruit over here. Winter root. I'll take that. Okay, we got this guy. And maybe I'll just sell some of the stuff in my inventory and head down to the beach. Sell, 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 sell. sell. I'm gonna sell this bro. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna sell it. Okay, everything's sold. Let's get this on here. And now I just need the warp totem. If I can find it, there it is. We are super grateful, Willie. Thanks so much for that gift. Speaking of Willie, hey Willie. So Still just 5.30, but we'll just fish here for a bit until we catch our squid and the albacore. Okay, so we got our squid and an albacore, so let's just go to Liberty's Gift right now. Not too bad fishing down there. There certainly was quite a few treasure chests. Can't complain, even though there was one with just a single piece of bait in it, which is kind of odd. <laughs> oh. I guess Sophia's leaving just as I'm coming in. See you, Sophia. Oh, just, oh, I forgot, it's Friday. Everybody likes to show up here on Fridays, don't they? Say hi to a few people whilst we're here. Seems like most people are leaving. It is 9 o'clock. Hey, Abigail. Hey, Sebastian. What's up, Shane? Don't you have work to do? I special order my painting supplies from the Fern Island. They're expensive, but it's important to have high quality tools. Gotcha. Hey Susan. You go to the salon on the weekends often? I try to. Hey Andy. It's yogurt darn freezing today. Stay warm, farmer. <laughs> do you ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours?
Cause I got something for ya. Where is it? Here it is. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, fish tube done. Let's go give Willy his now. And squid catching, 800 done. Sweet quest completed today. Hey, hey Sheila. It's cold days like this, Pop always makes some hot coffee. Okay, and I'm going to buy... Triple shot espresso recipe! It's about time. Um, the carp surprise. Big bag, big bark burger. Need a puppy fish. <laughs> Glazed butterfish, you need a butterfish for that. Okay, I'm not gonna get those just yet. I don't have enough money. I mean, I have some money, but I don't wanna use it on that. So let's head back to the farm. Really good day though, like three quests complete. Yeah, I'll have to get that maple syrup to the beer in the woods sooner or later. Actually, I probably should head to the secret woods. So maybe if tomorrow is not a good luck day, I'll go down to the deep woods and the secret woods and just get a whole bunch of wood because I still do need quite a bit of hardwood. Still got some time left in the day. Let's see how much of these we can turn into some seeds. So one, one, look how much crocus we have, that's crazy, and we'll take the snow yam, so we can make ten more, so I will do just that, what else, I don't need all of these really, so I'm just going to keep Ten of each. And sell the rest. I'm debating if I should keep the crystal fruit and put it into the keg or not. I mean, it would be worth it, but... Unless I have something better to put into my keg. Let me keep 40 of these. Oops. Don't need that. I'll keep 40. Maybe 50. 50 it is. I'll sell the rest. What else? Is there anything else I can sell? I can sell these cactus fruit. Some of those. I'll sell this. I'll keep some of these, actually I'm going to process all these truffles. Once I need to make a truffle maker though, I can sell all of the holly. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Let's go straight to the shipping bin. Sell, 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 sell. sell, sell. So, this should make us some decent money for today. And I can probably get a couple more kegs made today. Where is my... So sure I had two more okra then. What did I do with them? All these chests. I have too many chests. Maybe I put it over here. I need to get my chest in on a label system. And I keep telling myself I'm going to do it. Here they are. Okay, let's see what we need for our kids again. So, I need the wood, copper bar, and iron bar. I don't know if I have enough wood. Uh, just 100. Oh, that should be enough. I only have three. Okay, we'll make three more. Let's take these coal I got from the fishing treasure chest and let's put these down. Um, 
one there, there, and one here. Does it look, oh, we don't have enough stuff for processing yet. Oh, I need more things. I'm just going to go ahead and stick those crystal fruits in there. So it's kind of a good thing I saved it. Let's put 30 in there. Go quickly because it's already midnight. Okay, we'll see how much these wines sell for. But it's bedtime. So let's head back to our house here. We should get some of these converted into triple shot espresso. Look at that. Do all of it. Get all of that goodness made. Ah, the beautiful sight. And to bed we go. Hey puppy, can you move over? And yeah, let's see how much money we made for today. Holy. <laughs> um, 73,000 and 64,000 from the foraging. The crystal fruit though, holy, that really brought it home. Not bad at all. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.